recognise this cheeky chappy? The American Grey Squirrel. From the 1870s onwards, our wealthy Victorian forebears brought him from America to be an exotic species in their country house gardens. Now he's in most back gardens. This one is mine. Wherever I put the bird food, he finds it. He's not shy like our native red squirrel. He is extremely agile and he's very successful at finding food. He breeds twice a year. The little red only breeds once. He's larger than the British red squirrel with short round ears. Grey squirrels carry squirrel pox to which the little red has no resistance. Red and grey squirrels cannot normally live together. Whole areas of England now have no red squirrels left. We went north to Cumbria to try to photograph the little shy red squirrel. We first went to Rutter Falls. We had been told that when the holiday cottages there were empty, red squirrels could be seen playing. Food left behind on bird tables can tempt red squirrels, just like the greys in my back garden. We stood very quiet and very still as a red squirrel ran in front of us. We moved further west to Derwent Water, a favourite holiday venue. The Forestry Commission land of Manistry Woods runs down to the water's edge here. In the woods, feeding boxes are fixed to the trees. The holes allow the small red squirrel entrance, whilst keeping out any larger grey squirrels. On a very wet day, we sat and photographed this busy squirrel. But a question arose. The squirrel was small enough to enter the feeding box, but he had round ears and a grey tail. The grey squirrel is large with round ears and can vary in colour with overtones of red. It comes out in all weathers. The red squirrel is smaller with tufty ears and avoids being out in the rain. The ranger assured us grey squirrels were not allowed to gain a foothold in Manistee, so we hoped that this was a pure young red. We moved eastwards to just southwest of Hawes in the Yorkshire Dales National Park to visit Snay's home, one of 17 red squirrel refuges located in northern England. The approach to the woodland is deliberately low key and only accessible on foot. Squirrels gnaw bark and evidence of their presence was soon visible to us. The path continues in the woods, past a cottage deep of the woodland. Signposting was deliberately low key, but we found the protected area where if you walk quietly, game fowl wander and the squirrels play. There is a viewing area at a wicker fence which bars our further inroads into the wood. Waiting here quietly, the red squirrel will eventually come very close. Now we can see the tufted ears and the smaller frame of the red squirrel. Our time in the north was coming to an end. And as we left the red squirrels to their refuge in the woods, it was with the hope that they would stay safe here for future generations to come and watch and admire. Thank you.